Steelers. Bro. What? <laughs> Dude, you got Joey right, Porter. Derek. Go ahead. Minka. Oh, you wanna you wanna go through then? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Do you have the you wanna bring up you said Ravens, but do you wanna bring up the Steelers depth chart? Sure. Okay. Um for the Browns, you got Denzel Ward. What's going on, everybody? Welcome. I'm back. Guess who's back? Episode Dennis Rodman. Back again. 91. Matt is back. Don't tell a friend. Go tell a friend <laughs> about Barbershop Break Room. We got to do something. Go stream some more YouTube. For, uh, <laughs> right? We got to do something special for episode 100. What are we going to do? A 24 hour stream? Guess who's back? <laughs> a 24 back hour stream again. for the 100th episode? That would be um, crazy. I mean, Where are we going first? First, I think probably right now is we should do the Olympic men's basketball bracket. Olympi. Just because Serbia and Australia is currently playing right now. Olympic basketball bracket. Olympic. Um, <laughs> so. My favorite basketball. With that, I mean, right now, like I said, Serbia and Australia is playing. It's is right playing. now it says the third quarter, nine minutes and 52 seconds left. Australia is up 54 to 42. Um, That's crazy. Hey, Mine Australian Pat. Oh, go ahead. Mine what? says it's uh, 846 left and it's 5646 Australia. More updated, Jordan S. <clears throat> I didn't update. Australian him. or uh, Olympic Patty Mills is no joke. Yeah, he's a dog. <laughs> um, so we're just going to go down the go down the bracket and basically think who's going to win what game and eventually Team USA is going to win it all, I think. We, they have the Chicago Bull Josh Giddy. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Josh also Gritty. the Chicago Bull. Yep, the thing that fought alien. Chicago Bull. Yep, the thing that fought alien. Yeah, yeah. allegedly. Chicago yeah, maybe, Bull. Maybe kind of. I don't think the bull fought alien. <laughs> Chicago <laughs> Bull. So we'll start off Serbia Australia. I know they're playing right now. We're just gonna go down. Um, just because Australia is up, give me Australia. Yeah, I feel like we got to roll with Australia. I don't think they're gonna come. Back. I mean, they do have Jokic. And Bogdanovich. But they don't even... Bogdanovich went the fuck off last game. Yeah. 30? <laughs> yeah. I think he had 30. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Um, yeah, and Serbia doesn't... They play team basketball. Like, the ball's out of Jokic's hand a lot of the time. Yeah. Which it should not be. It should be in that motherfucker's hands every time down the court. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I feel like I have to, I have to go Australia, considering they're up by 12. Nice. Then we'll go... We'll go next game, Brazil... And Team USA, winner of that will play who we think is going to be Australia. Do we have Australia. to go around ever for the Team USA game? I think we we all just got Team USA here. Yeah, Team USA squeaks one out. Uh, squeaks, <laughs> squeaks. One they out like to 30. play. They like to play around. All right, um, one's already completed. Germany already beat Greece. Shout out to to Giannis his first Fucking Olympics. Dennis Schroeder, bro, right, going crazy. It's Dennis Schroeder is the, <laughs> the German Olympic god. German god. <laughs> So him and the Wagners. I seen the the Wagners. The Nassus was cheering on Giannis. Did he not make the Greece team? Mm -mm. That's crazy. Dante said he played one game, but I don't. I, I don't, didn't see him play any. I don't. Maybe think he, he got hurt the first game or something. I don't know. I looked at the roster very beginning. He wasn't on the roster list. So <laughs> imagine that. Maybe yeah. he didn't imagine make the being team. in the NBA. Yeah, and not you're making on the, the Milwaukee. Countries. You're on the Milwaukee Bucks, but you can't even you make know, the Greece. You roster. can't even make your country's roster. Would he um, have made the South Sudan roster? The hell no. Maybe not, bro. JT Thor's a dog over there. <laughs> um, we'll move on from that one because we already know Germany won. But France and Canada should be a really good game. Oh, that's the winner. Of that's going to that's going to be a good game. But I think Canada wins by at least ten. Canada wins by 10. Who goes off SGA? All of them. Jamal Murray averaging five Jamal points. Murray, <laughs> SGA. Jamal Murray don't even get that much burn for real. Uh, he, bro, he's averaging like five points on 25% shooting. Yikes. He's not having a good time out there. Yikes. Who do you got? Or is it Kelly Olenek. Yeah, we'll take Canada. Canada? Yeah. Wemby, uh, Wemby's going to go home. Wemby will have a good game, but they'll lose. Yeah, I'm going to... Dylan gonna, Brooks is going to punch him in the wiener. I'm going to go Canada here. <laughs> uh, I just think they have a better overall team. So I think it's going to be the battle of North America for gold. It might be. 
So we'll move oh, from sure. that. It's United States and Australia. Do we have to go around for that one? Nope. Not for me. No? We all no, go. we're about to send Patty Mills back down under. Are we, are we squeaking that one or is that one a for That's sure? a squeaker. Okay, another squeaker. The first one ain't a squeaker. I was messing <laughs> around, but this one's going to be a squeak. It might be a little squeaky. Like um, a fart that got out on an accident. And then you got Canada versus Germany. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Canada. Uh, just because I think they match up a little better. The the Wagners and <clears throat> Dennis Schroeder ain't gonna carry over Germany. Yeah, that, I think uh, I think Canada can get them. I think they got a little bit of length on them. I actually think Germany plays better basketball, but I think Canada wins. Just better overall players. Yeah, yeah. I think when it comes down to the fir- fourth quarter and you get the ball to SGA, he's, I think he's gonna finish it out. Whether it's getting to the line or getting to his spots. Yeah, I'm going to take Canada, too. Battle of North America for gold, though. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with Jordan. Battle of North America. Yeah, and then I think uh, Team USA dominates in the last, in the championship. I don't disagree with that one. Yep, I, I think they see all the M- other NBA players across from them, and they just... They get a little more comfortable. They turn it up. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. They, yeah. So how does the bronze... They're kind of playing with the people... Who, the, who... Yeah. How does the bronze medal game work? Is it... the Two teams that lost in the semifinals? Yeah, it'd be Germany and uh, Australia. Yep. Okay. Who's so winning who, that one? Germany. Ooh, Dennis Schroeder taking home bronze. Didn't he take home gold one time? They just won the FIBA, the thing to qualify. Okay, that's, for the okay, that's what Yeah, it they won okay. that shit. But, um, I mean, that's our little break. What'd they do last year or last Olympics? I don't know, but Dennis Schroeder is goaded over there in Germany for some reason. Oh my God, Serbia's coming back. Are they? It's 58 51. Watch our. Okay. What Olympics 60, are those? 51. Our predictions are wrong. 2020? Yeah. 20. Yeah. Well, it'd be 2020, right? Were they still called the 2020 Olympics, even though it was the COVID 2021? I don't know. I don't know that one actually. Weren't they in 2021 because of COVID? I'm not going to lie. Every, that three-year stretch is all a blur to me. Yeah, it's all like one year. Yeah, it's, it's all a blur. I'm yeah. just like, yeah, that's when this happens. They're like, no, bro, that was two years after that. It's like, yeah. oh, okay. Did um, you guys see the uh, the Olympic beds? N- uh, you know, like they yeah. do different Olympic beds every year where they look so crazy. The what? The Olymp- Like the beds for the athletes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like made of cardboard so they can't. Yeah. They can't be playing Frogger in bed yeah. during the Olympics. Frogger. Also, some chick got kicked out of the Olympics. For Disneyland? Because she went to Disneyland. <sighs> That's insane. She decided to go, and they said, yeah, you want to go to Disneyland? See you fucking later. I'm not going to lie. I didn't know there was a Disneyland in Paris. Me neither. First thought that went to my brain, I'm like, she went to Florida? <laughs> Damn, U.S. beat France last Olympics. Um, <clears throat> yeah, she hopped on a plane to... Florida. I hopped off a plane in LAX. Speaking of Disneyland, <laughs> a swimming star, Luana Alonzo. Moana. Banished oh. from the Olympic Games after sneaking out of the athlete's village to visit Disneyland. That is crazy. Wait. Like, did she see? There's a Disneyland in Paris? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know I guess so. <laughs> um, you could tell Matt was looking for something. Yeah, he's like, wait, <laughs> what? Like, did she sneak out or she just like thought she could leave and just go visit? She probably family? thought she could just leave. And she's like, oh, shit. No way. Yeah, there is a Disneyland Paris. <laughs> yeah, if you guys can hear that in the background, I mean, I should have edited it out decent amount, but they are tearing a building down right next to us. A tall ass building. It's only one hundred and twenty four dollars for a day to tear down a building. No, to go to Disney. <laughs> In Paris. That's actually cheap. What the hell? For a one day. For one day. One park. I feel like that's way cheaper than the other Disney World and Disneyland that we have in America. Bro, like, those are people's head, man. Oh, yeah. They're tearing everything down. Yeah. They still got, like, clothes and shit in there. The, when we walked up here, what, last Sunday, the one person's closet so was they, still, like, full. They probably weren't, weren't allowed back in there. They weren't. But you know what's fucked up is, uh, I was telling Derek, the people that tore down the building, they're allowed to send their people up there to ensure that, quote unquote, everything is safe for demolition. 
and they were walking out with Xboxes and shit out of people's apartments. That's messed up. Like, yeah. Damn, bro. I always wanted an Xbox. Fuck yeah. Yep. Ooh, free for five. Let's go. Five feet, five finger discount. Um, I think we should uh, move on to something that I think we all are going to enjoy. Is building the perfect team with the AFC North teams. And basically, you just got to fill out it's all Browns. Huh. It's the whole Browns roster. Huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but I'm going to go down the list of what we're going to have. One quarterback, two running backs, three, rod, three wide receivers, two tight ends. And then we're just going to do an O-line, D-line, linebackers, and DBs. Um, so oh, yeah. we're going to go around... Who do you prefer to start with? What's easier for you? Me, Don't Matt, you? Me. All right, hold on. Let me pull up the thing. Don't matter to me. What do you mean, me, Matt, you? To like, I'm going to say who I had at quarterback. You're going to say who you had. And he's going to oh, say who I thought he we had. were just like collectively agreeing. And then we're going to collectively agree. Oh, okay. You see what I mean? Oh, okay. So yeah, I, didn't, I didn't even fill it out, but I'll, I'll just roll. And just to make it a little different, we're going to do it like a like a snake. So I'll do the quarterback. It'll go to you. And then you start the running back. and It'll go back. Running you know back I mean? one or both? Wait, just wait, one. Wait. You're gonna go second every time, don't you worry? I'm saying, like, how are we collectively gonna go if you if you name the quarterback and he names the running back? Well, no, you're gonna say the quarterback. Like quarterback, too. quarterback, quarterback. Like who we back, all have at quarterback, back. and then if we all agree, bam, it's easy. Oh, okay, or if we okay, all have okay. different ones, we argue and talk about who we should have who. Let's ride. Um first quarterback, two time MVP got Lamar. Lamar. Okay. I also have Lamar. Wow. So and I don't think we got a no, no argument, argument there. there. And then for unless running back one. Unless they're against the Steelers. <laughs> running back one, I have Derrick Henry. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have Derrick Henry as well. Running back one. I didn't want to put him there. I had Derrick Henry at number one, too. I think I just was that fucked on me? the camera, the pieces, to be honest. I think it was on you for Matt's and Matt for you. <laughs> Here, just say, just, just start over. Just say you're, you're Derek start over Henry. from running back. Well, it was on me for mine. Yeah, no. just say oh, you're okay. Derek Henry. Um, unfortunately, uh, I have to say Derek Henry as well. Yeah, I didn't want to put him here, but I have Derek Henry at at my RB one. Uh, that piece of shit. Um, RB two. You guys, I feel like we're gonna have a different one here. Oh, um, we're definitely going to have a different one. Yeah, because you got Nick. Because that cat ain't ready yet. So now here's the thing. <laughs> From as a player, and you're not including injury or anything like that, of just as a player, Nick Chubb is two, I think. Nick Chubb's one. If you include healthy, a player. Yeah. At this okay. point Over right Derek now, Henry. healthy, Nick Chubb is one. Um, Derrick Henry's on his way out. And I know he had a good year last year, but like it's getting to the point where. I what? think he's going to be fucking lethal in this offense. Like Nick Chubb, he is making progress. I don't he's not think he's like, get a thousand. He's not a hundred percent in training camp or anything yet. I did just put him to just because of what he's done in the past. Like what he's a top two running back in the NFL when he's healthy. So For I sure. have Nick Chubb at two. I was gauging it off of right now. Yep. And I put Najee. I also was gauging it off of right now and have Najee. So, but I would, I already said it on camera. Like, yeah. If, if so, how do we want to do this? There, do we I would do go. It, do we want to do it off of like right now, like injuries it is included from here on out? Yeah, I would say, okay. I would say now injuries, like going into the season, because we're we don't building, know what Nick Chubb going into our season, we're building a perfect team. Okay. Like, this is our team. We're in training camp right now. We can take any player from the AFC North to build our own squad. I am taking Najee over Nick Chubb just because of the injury. Yeah. Only because you don't only know. Only because of the injury. You, you don't really know. don't know. So, I guess Nick Chubb, or not Nick Chubb, Najee's the number two. And then for uh, wide receiver one, Jamar Chase. Uh, yeah, I got Jamar Chase as well. Yeah, I don't think that's a question. I think Jamar's the best receiver in the AFC North. For sure. Um, we got to stop picking fucking Ravens, though. Wide receiver two. <laughs> it's hard. Um, this is actually very difficult. Well, this I think this guy, ever since he came in the AFC North, he led the AFC North in receiving yards. So I just went Amari Cooper. I think Amari Cooper is the second best receiver in the AFC North, personally. Um, I'll agree to disagree. We took Najee, so you can have Amari at two, but George Pickens is three. That's what I had. I had yeah, like I, have, I have Amari I have Pickens at two, at two but... 
Yeah, I mean, you're gonna. It doesn't. They're, it doesn't they're really. All three you're there. not ranking them. Yeah, right, right. those are the three receivers yeah, that we're gonna yeah. want in any. Those way. are your three receivers out of the AFC North for sure. Yeah. So I, yeah, for wide receiver two, I have Amari, and wide receiver three, I have Pickens. And that's our that's our perfect. That's an unstoppable three. I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's wild. That's a crazy three. And you can start with tight end then. Uh, for tight end one, I have Mark Andrews. Shit. <laughs> he was hurt last year too, right? Yeah, he yeah. was a little banged up. Yeah, he that's, he didn't finish the season, did he? He got the hip drop tackle ban. Yeah, he broke his leg. Yeah, I was gonna say he had broke his leg, like f- fucked up. I mean, he's twenty eight years old. It's not like he's yeah, because Isaiah 35. likely played the rest of the season. Yeah, and Isaiah likely was a dog, and yeah, there. he was a, he was a dog. I mean, it's kind of fucked up because I had. Najee in over Nick Chubb and didn't I completely forgot that Mark Andrews got hurt that's why I put him at one I mean he still had 500 yards and six touchdowns from the nine games that he played so not terrible but I don't think that breaking a leg is completely different from tearing like an ACL so you can come back from a broken leg and be fine or you can lose your leg well I'm gonna go Njoku you're going Njoku I went only and, because he went the fuck off last year. Yeah, I the only reason I have Njoku at one is because you're he a Browns fan. Healthy the whole year, and he had better stats than Mark Andrews. Yeah, last he went year. crazy last so, year. But I think I have Mark Andrews at two, so I think that's our. Yeah, and I have Njoku at two, so I think that's our one and two, right? Yeah, those two. Yeah. Um, until, you want you want me to start with the O line until next year? Until next year, who? Yeah, Big who, Pat's gonna go Big crazy Pat? this year. Um. O line. We haven't had an ample offense. Um, I'm up here for you know. I'm going to go Browns, just because I think that the Browns have the best O line in the division. Um, and a lot of rankings had their O line in the top five. So I'm going to go Browns, but I want to hear what you guys say. Mm. I am going off this rankings is hard. here too. This is hard. Every team has a lot of questions with it's their line. It's not the Steelers for sure. It's not the Ravens. It's not. It's. Not, I. It might be. They lost three of their starters. When? This year. In the off season. Yeah, they lost three of their starters on the line. So they still got to do that center. They still I'm, got Ronnie Stanley. I'm pulling it up for you. I'm trying yeah, to and everybody shoot. else is gone. <laughs> Fuck. So I didn't know that they lost all them. Yeah. So. As of right now, Ronnie Stanley, Andrew Forhees, it's a crazy last name. Um, they have a good center, uh, yeah, uh, Tyler yeah. Lindenbaum. Yeah, he's a dog. Um, right guard right now, it's Daniel Filelli. Filelli? Don't know him. And uh, right tackle, Patrick Macari. Patrick, th- what? Wait, the fullback? What? Macari. Oh, oh, I Macari. thought you said Ricard. No, 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 no. Macari, Macari. <laughs> that would be crazy. They used They're to like, switch, to, out, switch, switch to right tackle. tackle. Um, Say, so, yeah, fullback don't make me enough money. I got to switch to right tackle. <laughs> we should have we should have picked a fullback. I didn't even think about that. Um, well, we don't even fucking have one. You yeah, want me to, I mean, we do. You want me to list off the Browns offensive line? I'm, or who do you I have? don't need you to. You no, nah, we're but, cool. Just go ahead with the Browns. Yeah, I, I have you? the Browns O-line as well. I okay. love I, I didn't really know. I knew it was going to be between them and probably the Ravens. Um, I would have taken your guys' over the Ravens, to be honest. I did, yeah, I didn't know I that didn't they know lost, that they lost that many people, but um, yeah, I would take ours over the Ravens now that you said that. But I did look at like rankings mm-hmm. and where kind of they stood after last season. And that's only have. because of what we did in the offseason. And I think there was a stat. I'm not going to have the exact numbers right, but those three that are going to start, they only have like three games total played out of those three players. So... Derek Not a Henry. lot of film on him. Derrick Henry's not getting a thousand. <laughs> Wait, the three new ones? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not, not, yeah. So you can start with what is it next? D line. For D line, I have technically the second best edge rusher in the NFL, um, the Browns D line. But now. See, this is where it gets dicey. This is where it gets really tough because I'm, I, made <laughs> I made my list. I made my list. technically a linebacker. Yeah. Um, what's his name? Just got carted off. Oh, Zedarius. Zedarius Smith. So, so that's what made Zedarius me change Smith, mine a little bit. I don't know. We don't know his injury what's yet. What's Trey Hendrickson technically? Is he an end or is he an outside linebacker? 
What's Sam Hunter? Trey Hendrickson's an edge. He's an edge rusher. I know, but what's his like technical position? TJ like, Watt's I, also an edge rusher, but I'm, he's technically yeah, a linebacker. I love TJ Watt. We run the I'm three calling, four. Yeah, you run a three four. I'm still calling the T. I'm calling TJ still being on the defensive line okay, in this I'm going scenario. Steelers D line. Because, like you said, Miles Garrett and him play the same exact position. You watch the film. Guess what? They do, but TJ plays in coverage as well. Sometimes, right? Very rarely he'll yeah. drop. He plays in coverage way more than like Miles Garrett. Yeah. But I want to say the majority of the time he's doing exactly what Miles is doing. His yeah, hand absolutely. on the ground, he's on the end, he's rushing. You know, he does exactly what Miles Garrett does, but better. Okay. It's not what I was saying. <laughs> um, so who did you have, Jordan? Uh, Steelers. If we're okay. saying TJ's on the D-line. Yeah, then it comes a little tricky with linebackers of like, yeah, but go on. Who do you got, Matt? Uh, I have, if we're putting that... I had Steelers linebackers, but I guess I'll That's, go Steelers D line. Steelers linebackers and Browns D line. Well, I don't know. How do you guys want to do it? Do you want to do it? Has like how is it labeled? Like That's, TJ is a linebacker. That's how I looked at it. Be I don't know. I mean, I guess if you move TJ, if you swap TJ, like and Miles if you put Garrett, him on the same team, dude, our, like TJ our, Watt's going to go on the opposite our side. Defense of Miles. is yeah. so He's not going to be the linebacker behind him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like you know, what sometimes I mean? we run, dude. There's times that we run with. Cam Hayward in the middle and TJ on one side and Alex Smith, Alex Highsmith on the other side. And there's nobody else down. I'm calling. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm, I'm saying? saying that's like a there's, defensive line. Yeah, those are both linebackers technically. Yeah, but we but, don't really use like Cam Hayward is, I believe, technically an end. There's like other his, times where it's his position Cam Hayward's down, right Keanu down. Benton's down, and then there's two outside rushers. But if we're counting TJ Watt as because of our defense, a lineman. What do you guys want to count them as? All right, yeah, let's do that. Steelers, D-line then. Yeah. Okay. Um, what did you have? You, I'm sure you had the Browns D-line. Well, actually, the way I did it was Steelers slash Browns. So I had you guys first just because of Zedaria Smith, and I'm, I was considering TJ being a defensive lineman. Um, so I'm going to go Steelers here. Um, now this is where it comes with linebackers. Yeah, now a little different. You have yeah. to take TJ Watt out of that scenario. So you got Patrick Queen and fucking who? Your rookie? Cole Holcomb. Cole Holcomb, Peyton Wilson. Okay. Um, so I had Ravens, Steelers there. Um, yeah, because Ravens still got uh, Roquan. Roquan, yeah. Smith. And he's a fucking dog. Um, so is Patrick Queen. Though. A lot of people said, I don't know. I, I heard this. I already that, know what you're about to say. That Patrick Queen. Should I tell it, I tell it for, before you tell it? Say it. That Roquan Smith had to tell Patrick Queen where to go all the time? So not only that, but that Patrick Queen, um, he elevated his game because of the system and who he was around on the Ravens defense. That's perfect. The Steelers do the same thing. Yeah, I agree. Because they have fucking, you would probably say a better defense than the Ravens almost. In certain positions, for sure. Um Linebackers, I'm cool with either going Ravens or Steelers. Cole, but, dude, Cole shout Holcomb, out to JOK. He's, I forgot he's about dog. Cole Holcomb. He don't even, he's not even going to start. He's hurt. I mean, Elaine and Roberts is going to start. Yeah. And Cole Holcomb has been a little... Eh. He was hurt. Injury. Yeah. So, yeah. dude, you got... I forgot, go you guys got the, I forgot you guys got the GOAT. Who, JOK? Devin Bush. Devin Bush. Oh, bro, he is starting on the depth chart. He's been going off in training. Um, camp. So I was looking at this page. They have <laughs> the, they have the Bengals linebackers number one. Do they? Jermaine, so, Jermaine Pratt and Logan Wilson. Logan Wilson's good. Jermaine Pratt is good too. He's old, but he's good. So I see now this one. But I like, don't. What's their What's their depth? It doesn't really matter to me when it comes to to linebackers because I mean even with the Browns, you got JOK, Jordan Hicks, and I mean you could say Devin Bush. Um, Originally, we Devin did have Bush better starter. We had better linebackers last year. The Ravens, you got Roquan Smith and Trenton Simpson. Who the hell is that guy? <laughs> you tell me. Um, so you want to go Bengals here? I mean, I don't think we selected Bengals for anything besides Jamar Chase. I'm going Bengals. Out of pity, we're going to give Bengals the, the nod. I just think they have two. I mean, I'm still going Steelers. They have Derek two. For deciding vote. Two big name like not big name, but they hit two notable guys. Yeah. Everybody else is like one really good guy and one guy that is like, ah. I'll go Bengals. Is it on me? 
I'll go. I'll go Bengals. So we'll have our uh, our linebackers, the Bengals. So Jordan, you can start with your your beautiful DBs. I know who you want to choose. The Bengals, the greatest DB room ever. Uh, the DBs. I took the Bengals. This motherfucker. Hell no. <laughs> no, I took the Ravens. This I'm not as bad as that one. Okay. DBs is so trash, bro. It's tough. Because we should have picked have... corners and safeties. I, if we did that, then we would have had to switch up the the defensive ends and D tackles inside, you know, inside and outside linebackers and things like that too. No, because linebackers are a core. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, DBs but like, and safeties almost play different positions. Like the DBs are up, the safeties are back. Some of them blitz. It's kind of the same with outside and inside linebackers. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So that's why I was that like, sucks. you would have to switch it a little bit. Um, cause I mean, if we're going to do it that way, you would go safety Steelers and I think you'd go corners Browns. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, That's what I would do. Um, but as a whole, who do you have? (laughs) You don't want to say it. (laughs) This motherfucker's a hater. (laughs) I hate this whole list. I would love to just put Steelers everywhere. I hate having to pick any of the teams that are rivals. Someone calling you? Who's calling you? Those are your sunglasses ringing, brother? God damn. Those are your sunglasses ringing? Yeah. What? Yeah. They motherfuckers with Bluetooth? You can talk through them? They are Bluetooth. How much are they? They are Bluetooth sunglasses. You get them from the TikTok shop? They they came straight from the TikTok shop. You need to order them. Link is in the bio. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. What the fuck? Um, were they like six bucks? All right, Matt, who do you got? Yeah, they were like six bucks. Um... Get it over with. Rip the band-aid off. Steelers. Bro. What? <laughs> Dude, you got Joey right, Porter. Dude. Go ahead. Minka. Oh, you wanna you wanna go through then? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Do you have the you wanna bring up you said Ravens, but do you want to bring up the Steelers depth chart? Sure. Okay. Um for the Browns, you got Denzel Ward. You got Greg Newsom. Greg Newsom, you got Martin Emerson. Those three right there. That's, I mean, we had the best. That's why it should have been broken down. That was your corners are sweet. We had the best secondary in the NFL last year. Um, and then I think our safeties aren't a very hard knock between anyone in the AFC North because I think Grant Delbin and Juan Thornhill are very serviceable, above serviceable players. Of course, I don't think they're. Grant Delbert's not to the caliber of Minka or Kyle Hamilton yet, I don't think, but he's not far much you under don't those think two. Think or you know? I know, but he's not under them that far from him. I think that's like the best safety in the league. I think the gap from Minka. Like that, actually. I think the gap you know. from Minka to Grant Delpit is bigger than the gap from Denzel to Joey Porter. Yeah, but that's just one corner. I know. Who's, I'm just who's saying. Corner two, and who's who's your nickel? Well. Uh, Deshaun, Dante Jackson. Dante Jackson is Who's corner nickel? two. Our nickel will probably Cam be Sutton, Cam baby. Sutton when he's back from the suspension. Goat. He's going to get suspended um, again. Nah. <laughs> up until he's back from suspension, would it be Anthony? You can go Cam Sutton. When, how long is the sus- suspension? Six. Six weeks from the start of week <laughs> six, one. Six games, games yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, would it um, be Corey Trice? Would it be uh, yeah, I don't know what Corey Trice is going to do. Supposedly Anthony he was Everett. really good. Oh, Anthony Everett will probably start. That's the dude from the Ravens. I'm not going to lie. You guys can overroll um, me because there's two of you and one of me. But I, I'm I not trying to do that. I think the Browns And then in the safety the room, we one. got Minka, Deshaun Elliott, and Kazi off the bench. Yeah, Deshaun Elliott. I didn't even Unless give you, run, I didn't even give you our bench. Our oh, I, I didn't give you a bench either. We don't need a bench. He said the bench. He's tripping. I'm just throwing it. He was just throwing in. Hey, there. who did Deshaun Elliott hit last year that was about to score? When he was playing for the uh, Eagles? Oh, for the Panthers. For th- um, Dude was about to cross the goal line and he, wasn't, he was on the Panthers, right? Rocked him. He was remember. a part of the Deontay trade, wasn't he? No. No? No. Who am I thinking? Oh, that's Dante Jackson. That's Dante Jackson. All right. Deshaun All Elliott. right, let's pick uh, Brown's corners and uh, Steelers safety. Yep. Sounds good to me. If you have to do a hole, who are you choosing? I can't. You have to. I already did. Steelers. You're saying Steelers? You're saying Steelers? Yep, we're overruling. All right, put it on me. They're overruling me. 
I think it's Browns, but for the graphic and their sake, I guess it's Steelers have the best secondary in the AFC North. Best safeties. Hey, you guys said it as a whole. Um, At least the far underneath gets cooked. We got Minka back there to help. <laughs> so is it on me? Yeah. So that's our AFC North team. Tell us who we got wrong. Tell us who we got right. And suck my meat. And suck your meat. Oh, sorry. That wasn't supposed to be part of it. Um, I think, where do you guys want to go next? You guys want to do a little uh, top five or you guys want to do a little draft here? Oh, it was Tony Pollard. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was on the Dolphins. Deshaun Elliott was on the Dolphins. Why did I think he was on the Eagles? He was at one point, I believe. Okay. Dude, he rocked him. Um, Yeah, it was. You guys want to do a little top five or you want to do a little draft here first? Whatever. We can do the top five first. Top five? Top five, top five. Do you want? I think to inter- everybody's gonna be a little bit different, but you want to introduce this, Matt? No, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> no, you do it. Dante's not here, so Derek. Uh, so I'm not really in charge. Introducer. Shit. Um, I, will. <clears throat> I will. Where's that? We're gonna be ranking the top five coach head coaches of all time. All right. You want to? You want to get your energy up? Get yeah. fucking hype. Look right into the camera. I got it. Yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> we are ranking, ranking, or we're ranking the top five NFL head coaches of all time. Bam, bam. We are going to give you barbershop break rooms top five coaches of all time. I like it. Um, so we can do it the same way we did the other one, I'm just going around saying our one, or how do we want to? Yeah, do this? I like or- that. When you guys did that with the, when you would say yours, mm-hmm. you yep. had like it listed yep. across the top and like your, you guys didn't do pl- coaches or anything. It was, like, we did, um, it was like top the QB 10. rankings. Yeah. QB, QB rankings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you, do we want to do this all separately? I think we all have our own separate list. <laughs> I'm sure it'll all be a little bit different. I'm yeah, cool that's with cool. that. Um, could be the exact same. You never even know. Do you oh, want me to go it. first? Yeah. Are we starting okay. at five? Ooh, ooh, we should probably start at five, huh? I was going to start at one. Then I started back at one. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my top five, I'm going to say to begin with, whoever's listening to the podcast, it's pretty interchangeable from fucking three to five, in my opinion. It's interchangeable from five to one in my list. Basically. Yeah. Well, <laughs> one I think should be. Um, at number five, I got the goat. Paul Brown, number five, head coach <laughs> of all time. Seven championships. Fucking traitor. Seven championships. <laughs> he is a traitor. Um, seven championships in 25 years, 14 division titles, um, and then just three NFL championships. So those seven championships were like the... Yeah, bro, there ain't nobody on my list before 1960. No? So Fuck I was giving no, a little bro. homage to... The people yeah, before. Vince Lombardi can get the hell out of here. I'm so gonna be honest. I, I looked at a bunch of lists, and that's how I made mine. Was just like looking at everybody else. Vince Lombardi can get the fuck out. Okay. Well, he so might that's, make that's my number five. That's all right. right. <clears throat> you going to me? All right, my number five, Joe Gibbs. Three okay. championships, three different quarterbacks. First coach to ever do it. My number five is also Paul Brown. Hey, what the fuck? Yep. Hey, <laughs> what the fuck? Um, are you going to hit it again or are you back to me? How do you I think for do? this, we'll just go. Just circle it. Okay. Circle all the way. Number four. Matt's not going to like this one. Vince Lombardi. I have to go Vince Lombardi. I mean, he only did play 10 years or didn't play 10 years. He coached 10 years, six division titles and three championships. I mean, he's the. What's it named after? It's named after Vince Lombardi. So you can't be a shitty coach and have the championship named after you. Exactly. All right, Matthias. My number four is Andy Reid. I like that one. I like. I couldn't. I did. Uh, I like that one. My number four is uh, Chuck Noll. Ooh, little Steeler action over there. Yep. Um, number three for me, the innovator of the West Coast offense, Bill Walsh. Um, yeah, just Bill Walsh. Number three, no explanation. 
<laughs> kind of. Uh, number three for any of mine. Yeah. <laughs> number three for me is uh, Chuck Knoll. Okay. Dominated the seventies. Number three for me is the guy the championship is named after, Vince Lombardi. Okay. Number two, Don Shula. Um, I think all of us, we haven't said him yet in any of our lists, so I hope that he's still on your guys' list. He's going to be Don second for too. everybody's. Yeah. Don Shula is my number two. Don Shula is my number two. Number one, I don't think anyone said this guy's name, but I think we all know who's going to who's it going to be. I got uh, Tom. Bur- oh, I mean, Bill Belichick <laughs> at number one. Yeah, I got Bill. Only Bill sh- that should be on the list. Yep. I also have Bill. You don't think Bill Walsh should be on there? Damn. Fuck, Fuck Bill Walsh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our top five. I mean, there was a part of me that wanted to do Matt's thing of like, if I am bringing back coaches now, I'm not taking Bill Walsh to coach my team. I'm not getting Vince Lombardi to coach my team. Um, I'm not getting Paul Brown to coach my team. No, bro. If you if they might be if they were playing the without face masks, I don't think it counts. <laughs> so I, I'm not I'm not mad about the Matt thing. I wish I kind of did it that way too. Um, but we can move on to our our little draft that we kind of came up with over little, the little drafty draft over the over a couple of days. A little drafty draft. I think we have to do the random generator here. Because first you. pick, I feel like I know exactly who's going off the board. So it's got to be like a completely okay. randomized first pick. I got gotcha. you. You know what's funny? I pull it up and it still has our name still on here. Do you think it's the same guy going first overall? We'll see. It's spinning right now. Oh, fuck. Well, Derek's a cheater. He didn't show the camera. He showed me. It's been, well, now, who do you think is going to be number two? Not me, because you're a cheater. Dun, told dun, you. Dun. I oh, told you. You get back to back. Yeah, sure. You get back to back. All right. I get to miss out on the first two players off the board. You think it's DM and RM? Is that who you think? No. No? No. That's... Wait, that is not what? who I think. Okay. But. All right, Matt, you know what we're doing here? What was the second initials? Oh, okay. RM. I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, hell no. No? You don't think I mean, I think too? there's plenty of good players. I think play- there's a there's lot. There's plenty yeah. of good players, I mean, I, bro. I have a list of there's nine an people. I just pull, if you just Google it, there, it gives you like at least 12. And I'm going to be honest. You could pick some dogs that are current that just never won yet. So I didn't. I didn't. All pick of any my guys players. are not current anymore. Yeah, I didn't pick any current just but because yeah, like they're not. Either. Their I feel like that's a cheat code. Yeah, yeah. it's like playing Weddle when it says Wait, only let me get for Justin one Jefferson. Team. Like who? Okay, yeah, like yeah. I was trying to think of players. Justin yeah. Jefferson would have been one. Let me get Joe Burrow. Devontae Holmes. <laughs> like yeah, Joe Burrow. Um, so Does Devontae not have one. No. no. Damn. Um. I think he his rookie year was like a couple years after they won that Super Bowl. Um, we are going to be drafting the best NFL players to never win a Super Bowl. And since I have the first pick. You got the first pick, bitch? Yeah, you're yeah, second. I was, him, I was showing him. Me. Oh, okay. But um, it's Snake. You get two in a row. It's actually yeah. funny how like it worked out. Like, I'm yeah, the one that exactly. got fucked. The order yeah, we've been going did. with all day. Um, second sucks. I'm going to go with the greatest quarterback to never win a Super Bowl. And then he's a better quarterback than Ben Roethlisberger. Nathan You're Peterman. high as fuck. Dan Marino was my first pick. Big Dan. So we're not like building a team here. We're just. No, you're we're just drafting, drafting players. Just five just players. Just five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me get Barry Sanders. Fuck. I was hoping that RM. That's the BS you didn't hear. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. You're about to get RM. I had him at three. Yeah. I'm going to take uh We'll take Randy Moss and Tony Gonzalez. Nice. Tony G. Nice. Let me get uh uh let me get Adrian Peterson. That's a really good one. I wanted that bald bastard. Um I get back to back two here, right? 
I'm the gonna, one that doesn't get back to back is me. I'm going to go with one of the greatest defensive players of all time, Big Bruce Smith. Big Bruce, he's a dog. Um, and to spice it up, I don't want to take like the same positions. Uh, we're going to go with, I think, probably one of Matt's favorite wide receivers of all time. He has a jersey of him, Larry Damn Fitzgerald. Well, I was going to take <laughs> that. Was my next. All right, let me get, <clears throat> let me get Antonio Gates. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even have him on my list. Me I forgot neither. about that, dude. Uh, I'm going to take Junior Seau and J.J. Watt. Ooh, J.J. Off the board. The building's collapsing. I only have one more player on my list. Let me get Anthony Munoz, the best lineman ever. Yeah, dude, that dude was an, a dog on my Madden Ultimate team. Ever. Period. So, I'm going to keep choosing different positions. I'm going to go LaDainian Tomlinson. Fuck. Hmm. There's another good running back on there for you. Um, so, how many is that for me? Was that, is this my last pick? Or this is going to be my fourth one? I didn't write down my list. To, I only have one lie. more pick left. So, you, this is your last one. This is my last pick? Yeah. Who do I got? Dan... Bruce Smith, the Danny Tomlinson, and Larry Fitz. Okay, you're right. Um, fuck, there's a lot of players still left on the board that I don't know who I want exactly. Well, there's one guy that I think you might want. Joe T? I uh, know. I want it. Eric, just because I'm a Browns fan. You got to take Greatest Joe. left tackle of all time, Joe Thomas. That's it? That's my five. That's on. It's on you, Matt. All right, let me get Jim Kelly. Ooh, Jim Kelly, motherfucker went to four Super Bowls and just couldn't <laughs> win one. Uh, I'm gonna take Eric Dickerson. That's the running back. You said you could have uh, my fifth. Smuggled there. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna take Brian Urlacher just for my random love of him, even though I was not ever old enough to really see him yeah. play. But. uh there's a couple still on my list that we didn't Eric choose. Dickerson. Yeah, there was a couple more um, OJs on this list. I'm looking at somebody else's list. He's my list. 15th OJ, pick. Is it fi- did you copy and paste from CBS Sports? No. They also have him at 15. Really? Yeah. Um, I got Champ Bailey here. Champ Where Bailey's you got a Champ good Bailey at? I, I did research. I don't know if it was on I CBS. almost picked Phillip Rivers, but... Where you got Champ Bailey at? Um, I don't know. I said I did research. It might have been on CBS. I have no clue. What number is he at? What are you fishing for, bro? (laughs) I don't know. Trying to make sure Derek didn't copy and paste CBS Sports. They got him at 20. I'm surprised you're dumb. Did you copy and paste from CBS? I'm surprised your bitch ass didn't pick Deacon Jones, Mr. Ultimate Team. Deacon Jones. (laughs) Dude loves to say that bullshit. And then this one. Two tall Jones. (laughs) Like, bitch, what the fuck? (laughs) You don't even know what team he played for. (laughs) Night Train Lane. Yeah, Damn. bro. <laughs> this dude pulls up the old Madden Ultimate Team players like it's anyone else honorable mention for you that you that we didn't say? Oh, uh, hold on. Hey, why well, my dude just text me and say he was driving down 76 to go out to uh Akron. Is that the group text? They got the highway closed down and the bomb squad just drove past them. Oh my god. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Oh, uh I said Phil Rivers, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I almost picked him, but then Jim Kelly went to four Super Bowls. I had to take him instead. Purple People. Uh, Ellen Page is on there. Julius Peppers. Julius Peppers. Dog. The Goat. Panthers, Packers, Goat. North Jack Carolina. Jack Youngblood is another one on Ann there. Hooper. Basketball Ann player. Hooper. <laughs> yeah. Who? Jack Youngblood. Damar Hamlin is on there. The fucking Madden Ultimate Team guy. Jack Youngblood. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's on their list. I'm saying off of their list. Brian Sipe. I don't know if you want a Super Bowl, actually. Definitely wasn't with the Browns, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you won MVP with the Browns. You could say Jim Brown, because technically everyone says it's not a Super Bowl. It's just championship. Whatever. Um, I think it's got to be Super Bowl era to qualify for this game. For the players? That Super makes Bowl sense. aura. Aura. <laughs> Colt McCoy. Fuck. Know, he's on there. Um, Johnny Manziel. So I texted you two. Separately, because yeah. no, you didn't. You no, know, not separately. Actually, in the group chat, whatever. Anyways, he wants us to have a quarterback controversy. Little little quarterback <laughs> talk <laughs> with you guys over there with the Pittsburgh Steelers. 
So I don't know whoever you guys go down to Latrobe. Who wants to take the reins over there? Who do you want? Well, I heard that uh, this ankle or calf injury could force Russ into an early retirement. What the fuck? Yeah, I heard that as well. But then I also heard that he was like days away from coming back to be full, fully healthy. (laughs) Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I, I personally don't like to overreact to training camp. I don't like when people overreact, overreact. Um, I do think Justin Fields has looked good in training camp, but me too. So did Kenny Pickett. It's it's hard to tell. Yeah. Kenny Pickett preseason. Kenny was a dog. Um, So I guess we won't really know with Justin Fields for sure until the season starts. Obviously, I'm I was one of Justin Fields' biggest haters, and now I have to root for him. But we'll hope that in season we can say, uh, yeah, it was a Browns thing or a Bears thing, not a uh, not a Justin Fields thing. Oh, uh, they did say that. Sidetrack: Roman Wilson, like, is cool, but he's not practicing today. But he was like walking down the steps, high fiving like fans and stuff like that. Like, I'll see, he got hurt. He'll be okay. Oh yeah, yeah. he got hurt. Well, he sprained his ankle, they said, but they he like got carted off. You know, and everybody gets carted off. It's, so it's like, like yeah. fuck. Same the thing fucking with your, craziest thing ever. With your D lineman right now. Z-Zadaria, it was just Z-Zadaria. an ankle sprain. Dude doesn't even have a boot on anymore. He's walking down the steps Deontay like normal. Foreman, same thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Dante Foreman. Fuck. That guy got life lighted to Virginia. Yeah, his neck. Yeah. To Virginia. To yeah. Virginia? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Straight to Virginia. Roanoke. <laughs> Hospital. Ne- like neck injury. Like. So they didn't. He, he fuck might, Cleveland Clinic. We're yeah, for a I'm fucking saying. helicopter in you to it's Virginia, five bro. Five minutes away, and they're like, "We're going to Virginia." Yeah, something, something crazy. That's crazy. I don't like seeing injuries. Sorry. No. Side note. Back Either to team. the Steelers quarterback thing. Um. So, to me, as long as Justin plays good, he goes in the preseason, plays good. I'm all for it. What's playing for good? the only reason being? I do still think Russ got a little left in the tank. I really do. We gave him a million dollars, dude. One. One million dollars. You're not That's, losing out like, on They can wipe their ass with a yeah. million dollars. Um, well, not me. I just feel like if, if he, go, ass wipe. he goes in, he plays, Russ plays good. Justin doesn't get to see the field. Justin leaves and goes get, gets money somewhere else. You re-sign Russ for, what, two years, and then we're back in the Kenny Same Pickett thing. situation. Yeah. Just... Let Russ walk, even if it has to be this season. I, I would love for him to stay and be a backup. I don't think he's going to do that. But you never know what you're going to get from Justin. Give Justin the rain. Let him start. See what he can do. He starts fucking up. Russ comes in and takes over. So you think it's Justin's job to lose? No, I don't think that. That's what I think they should do. Gotcha. They like just. I feel like so far from what Justin has shown, he's so dynamic Like in all the stuff that he can do. Let him take the reins as starter. He can use his legs. That He doesn't have to, but he can. And they're not going to sit there and tell him, hey, don't fucking run. No, dude. This whole offense is about running and taking shots downfield. Fucking run, bro. Protect yourself, but run. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like he brings a whole different dynamic to... Um, the offense. The, the whole offense, yeah. like, you know what I mean? And whereas Russ, I I don't know, man. I know he still has it. I know he can sling the thing around. He had, what, 26 and 10 last you year? You can win a Super Bowl 26 and 8. Yeah. I think you can get very far with him. He, he did fuck up some games last year. You know, a lot of times those stats are – you could throw three touchdowns at the beginning of the game and then at the end – Blow it. Blow it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So those stats, yeah, you, could but he's back, not turning it over. Those shot. stats could be skewed. You know what I'm saying. But not turning it over and executing at the end of the game. You know it's what I'm still saying. Still an upgrade from what you guys had. Last For sure, year. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm saying yeah. I'll take 26 and 8, 26 and 10, whatever the hell it was. And you guys made it to the. I'll take so. that last year, or that over what we had last year, any day of the week. You know what I mean. So, yeah. but I think to put us in the best position to win, to to fit the scheme. To be the best that we can possibly be, I think Justin gives us that. I think you let him start. He fu- he starts fucking up. Hopefully, Russ stays and stays on the bench and doesn't just straight up ask to 
fucking be Trading. traded or yeah. just be, I would if I was him though. be released or something like that. I'd be like but, send me somewhere else. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. But I'm I'm in. Start Colin Allen. So I I agree with you. Justin Fields would be better for our longevity as a team. Um, I think that this season we have like a true potential to do what I don't believe any team has ever really done. We could throw them both in randomly at all points of the game. Like, I, I don't think that it's much of like, you're not really missing a step with either. Yeah, if Justin Fields is in, you have that other dynamic of running more than Russ. But late in the game, say you just need, we're down by three or we're down by five something and we need to go down and get a touchdown. You throw Russ in there and just say, hey, go score. We just, we're only going to air it out. There's no running the ball this drive. We got a minute left and we're down by five. Right. You could do that. But the rest of the game, you can Justin Fields, you know, switch it up. I I know a lot of people were kind of flaming Justin Fields for the whole kick returner thing. Bro, That's not a terrible it, idea. It looks crazy. Like I watched a guy actually break down like the possibility after watching the preseason game of what it could look like with a quarterback back there. We'd be the only team in the league that would really be able to do that. And the way it's set up, if they are they take aggressive angles towards Justin throw it to whoever else is returning and they got the sideline to work with blockers. If they stay home, Cornell. it's Justin Fields. Like he has room to run with blockers in front of him and less guys trying to tackle him because they're staying home. Right. Is it fucked up if I would say Justin Fields might be a better returner than Cordell Patterson right now? Yeah. <laughs> I he might know. be more, a little more elusive than Cordell. And even right like now. not, can I play devil's advocate real quick? No. Okay. Just for the fact of, I saw your point brought up before and i know andrew hawkins kind of played devil's advocate i watched that yesterday due to being in of yeah you can do that but the receiver like aspect it. Of, yeah. of it is like well now my route's gonna have to be ran a little different i'm gonna have to do something a little different on this because now he's throwing me the ball there's too much um, like there's too much like timing and stuff like that to me and then to, to switch that but i i it would be insane. And the, no, I if, could you imagine? But think yeah, about it. No, it would defense, be crazy. The adjustments, get, the, like if yeah, you for sure iron that out on offense, even if it's just all short routes when Russ comes in, it's all shorts, and then you have one guy just dragging deep. I I think it's still think about the possible. adjustments from linebackers, from corners, from all that. When you got Justin Fields out there, they're like, okay, we have to be careful of the run. And right, and I'm not saying I agree. I'm not saying I want Justin Wilson's out there. I don't want Justin, like, I don't want Justin like, to go in there and take snaps and be a running back. He's a very, no. very capable thrower. Yeah, I just think as a defense, you have to worry about him running because if he gets loose, he could go for 60, 80 yards at any time. Because you saw those mean screens he was dishing off to DJ Moore taking it sixty yards. <laughs> that too, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but no, I I see your point. It can work if you in the very beginning of training camp. Hey. Like a last chance you But it's type. hard right now because Russ hasn't been practicing. Yes. Um, and I think the only thing Andrew Hawkins also said about it is like every time that they go in, they're going to try to one up one another to try to get that starting position. You Which know I what I mean? Could be good. Which could be good, but that can also force them to like yeah, they're try to do a little too much. Should, yeah. So, I mean, but if Tomlin at the very beginning, be like you said, was like, hey, this is how we're going to run the offense. Both of you guys are going to be on the field throughout the game. And they, two quarterbacks can get on the same page with all their wide receivers. That is not an unthinkable thing to do in the NFL. I mean, we so see I think it's definitely come possible. Mid season and ball out. And this is this is the fact I was going to bring up. Go back in Browns history when Josh Gordon led the league in receiving yards. He had Brandon Whedon, Jason Campbell, and Brian Hoyer throwing him the ball. The two quarterbacks you guys have in your roster is better than all three of those motherfuckers. <laughs> so. Jason Campbell was a dog. I'm just playing. <laughs> he was all right. <laughs> he was all right. He was no Seneca Wallace. But no. But. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he was no Colt McCoy out there. But I think it's definitely capable for you guys. And I don't I don't love it because you know, I don't know. No, I, I personally wouldn't want it. Like I said, I'd but probably want Justin to start. It does sound crazy as hell. Like Arthur Smith is a good OC. It too. sounds like a nightmare for the defense, but. Or um, make it more of a nightmare. And one play in the drive, throw Kyle Allen. There's in no there. <laughs> Najee Harris on the on the field. There's no Jalen Warren. Uh, no Jalen Warren on the field. I don't know why I kept wanting to say James Conner. He's on the Cardinals. Same guy. But there's no running Number back 30. on the field. You got Russ in the shotgun with Justin Fields next to him. 
in a one play. You could oh, run fuck. some mean trick plays Justin with that. Fields back oh, you could back. run some crazy trick plays. That yeah. could be crazy as hell. Yeah, and then Justin Fields steps up to take a to block somebody. And the only a thing though, like if they dump it off to oh no play actions. Yeah, if they dump no it off, no play actions. If you dump no, it I'm off saying, to like, Justin, just he stays in pass pro. <laughs> yeah, I'm not accounting for Russ to like go out there and swing it to Justin, go out for a pass route. I'm not. I'm like fuck Russ. He can do whatever he wants, but he did do it a couple of times with the Seahawks. I don't know if you guys remember highlights, but there's been a couple of trick plays to where he came right? out, ran like a bubble when he's wide open. My dude is like 36. He might do it again, 35. Cut him some slack. 35, sorry. Well, what if it's <laughs> Justin Fields running the bubbles now? Well, that's something you definitely, you account for, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's like a running back. You treat him like a running back if he's there. I think the best position that we're in, though, Kill him. is God forbid any injuries happen, we have another guy for this season. That's what, yeah. I know three. that it, they're both only there for one year as of what? right now, but... I just don't, I don't know, bro. If somebody gets hurt, that's, we at least I don't have want, somebody. I don't want us to fuck ourselves. Yeah. By letting Russ play, getting it through, and then Justin being like, "All right, well, we had a fu- we had our fucking franchise guy on the on the roster," and Justin said, "You guys fucked me. Right. I'm going somewhere else." And I mean, realistically, and then Russ stays for two years and leaves. Realistically, what could happen too is just retire. We could start Russ all season. End of the year, Justin Fields says, "I'm out of here," and Russ goes, "Yeah, I'm retired, dude." And then that's we're what fucked I mean. Next year. And then we're fucked. Yeah. Like we we don't even get the two. That's years. We that's the one. only reason I don't want. I just don't want us to screw ourselves. I, that's that's the main reason I want Justin to play. Go out there, play, prove yourself, and then we'll give you a big ass contract, and we got a quarterback for the next four years. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's if, just like ah. if we're gonna make Russ start the whole year, we need somebody sweet talking in Justin's ears about <laughs> the next five being his. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, buddy. Like, I, that's the I only promise. way that's going to work. Is we if got we you, bro. somebody I in his ear like, listen, here. dude, next season. Mike yours. better buy him like five pairs of black Air Forces. <laughs> He's yeah. wild for just posting that, dude. <laughs> like, it's just his V. Yeah, just his like, like, what the hell is this guy on? He's almost 60, bro. He, just, he don't know what he's doing. Um, I'll end it on this. Uh, well, I got one thing to say, too. Or you do. You go, you. You go. You go, Chicago you. White Sox. Oh, shit. <laughs> shout forgot. out to him. <laughs> Let's get 24, baby. Number 14, shout Get 24. Shout out to MJ. Get 24 <laughs> for Kobe. Huh? And for the MLB record. We just lost, what, 5-1 to the A's last night? Since Jose Ramirez knocked Tim Anderson out, fun fact. One year Sox ago have, yesterday. The White Sox have only won 45 games. That's crazy. In 365 days. That's crazy. White Sox money line has only hit 45 times. <laughs> Shout uh, out to MJ. And you probably didn't make that much, maybe. But let's go for the record. We already got the AL. We tied the AL record last night. Let's get the MLB record and fire the motherfucker that owns that bitch. <gasps> I think that's a great Can you fire the guy that owns it? Ah, sell it. <laughs> uh, I mean, he's already selling all the fucking players. Every player that <laughs> leaves the White Sox, by the way, one last side note, every player that leaves the White Sox and gets traded is instantly better. Eloy yeah. Menez went four for six the first game with the Orioles since being traded. Guess where he's been all season? Great organization Fucking over there. down with the waste management company. All season with the White Sox. Goes to the Orioles, four for six. Like I think two or three RBIs. Yeah. Way to go, buddy. Let's go White Sox. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hit the like button. I thought you had one more thing. Hit the subscribe button. Um, what I was going to say, I'm surprised that your guys' over under for the Steelers is that low because you guys made the playoffs with 10 wins. Uh, that's the thing I'm going to end on. Button. I don't know why everyone's sleeping on them. It's kind of pissing me off because I already think they're good. I love it. That's it. Like button, subscribe. Peace out. Steelers season, Steelers season prediction coming soon. <laughs>